Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today we're going to be trying Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Chicken Wings in a bucket. I'm sure you guys remember the disaster that the Jack Daniels ribs turned out to be. So I wonder if this $20 bucket of wings is any better than the $20 bucket of ribs. Yes, I said $20 for a bucket of chicken wings, but it is three pounds of chicken wings. Jack Daniels Tender Chicken Wings are cooked to perfection with Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Liqueur Barbecue Sauce. Taste the rich heritage and tradition of Southern cooking in every bite. Most of the ingredients are in the barbecue sauce, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's the sodium phosphates that let you store these in the refrigerator for months on end. I bought this bucket of wings at the end of August, and who knows how long it had been on the shelf before I bought it. But you have nothing to worry about. They're good until October 26, 2019. How in the world do you store food in the refrigerator that long without it going bad? The serving size is 4.9 edible portion. 4.9 what? Ounces? Wings? There's four servings per bucket. Per serving, there's 310 calories, 16 grams of total fat, 4 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 100 milligrams of cholesterol, 460 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, 23 grams of sugars, and 16 grams of protein. All right, so let's get these open and see what they look like. So there's what they look like. There's one. Two packs. Mmm, doesn't that look good? I'm being sarcastic, by the way. They look like buffalo wings right now. I have a feeling these aren't going to be too bad. So I said to open up both bags and dump them into an oven safe dish and then cover them with foil. All right, we're gonna spread these out into an even layer. And they don't look or smell bad at all. I don't smell anything. It almost looked like you just had a little hitch in your giddy up. <laughs> you didn't see it. What did you do? I, I hit you my giddy up. That's what it looked like when you walk across there. And here we go. So into the oven for 15 minutes. While our wings are in the oven, head over and follow me on Instagram if you want to see foods I cook and eat and other random things that I do that I don't record and you might even get a sneak peek at an upcoming video. The directions said to cook for 15 minutes in a 350 degree oven, but they weren't hot by then. So now they've cooked for a total of almost 30 minutes and they're finally hot and nice and bubbly. So let's get these plated up and give them a taste. And they don't look bad, but I know that skin's gonna be rubbery. They smell good. They smell very good. They actually don't look bad. They don't. I just don't like the fact that they've been in that packaging for over a month, and like I said, we've had them in the fridge for a month. All right, so we're gonna give our Jack Daniels Honey Barbecue Wings a try. All right, so let's give these wings a try now that they've cooled down just a little bit. All right, certainly looks good. You wanna try it first? No. I'm not gonna say anything until Lisa tries it.
No, at least it's going for a flap. Flap or flat? I don't know, flat, flat. I think it's a flat. She didn't even show it on camera. Oh, you're right, I didn't. And Lisa's eating this wing like a damn mouse eating a piece of cheese. I think eating chicken wings looks just disgusting. So what do you think? I don't like that sauce. The sauce is very, very sweet. Yeah, it is um, really sweet. Almost like shockingly sweet. <clears throat> I didn't care for it too much. Like you said, the outside of the skin is kind of rubbery. Yeah. Um, well, they, they, but I, that sauce was just very, you could, it was too much. You could get rid of the rubbery by just by uncovering them, let them finish under the broiler for a minute or two. But the, I like the flavor of them, but the texture is weird. All right, I'm gonna try another drum at. Well, like I said they certainly look good, and they would probably be much better if you cooked them for a few minutes uncovered. But I was following the directions. I don't know. I think I like the second one better. I don't really think they're that bad. And like I said, the flavor is good. They have the texture of a Domino's wing. It's soft but a little bit rubbery. The chicken meat itself is good. Um. I don't have a whole lot bad to say about them. I mean, they're not great wings. Um, for the convenience, I still don't think $20 is a good deal. So I'm gonna give the Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Barbecue Wings a seven out of 10. It's between the six and the seven, so I'll just give it a seven. What do you think, Lisa? A two. She, she, didn't, even, <laughs> she didn't even finish her wing. I, that sauce was just too much. I think it, I, between the sauce and the texture. Sauce of the is sweet, but it does have a little bit, a slight little spiciness to it. Not bad. I mean, not to me, they taste like you know those just cheap, basic frozen. Well, that's what wings. they are. I know, but you know where the skin can be kind of like. What other kind of wings can you have that last a couple months in your refrigerator? I know. Well, maybe that's why I don't like them. I doubt I would get them again, but if somebody had them at a party or something like that, I would eat them. I would go straight to the chips and salsa. You'd what? Go straight to the chips and salsa. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, share it with your family and friends, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you soon.